the amount of three hundred twenty-four thousand nine hundred seventy-seven dollars and forty-three cents. Um, Bridget cautioned June when she talked to her that in some cases, uh, some people pay both their installments at the same time on their taxes. Uh, at the same time, we have some people that haven't paid. So, it, Bridget's caution was that it may not be this high the next time around because there's been some that's been prepaid in advance. Uh, but the, the wash on that may be that some people haven't paid yet. So, we'll have to just wait to see on that. got a couple of invoices uh, that need to uh, be paid here, and uh, I'll just go through them one at a time. Um, we have an invoice for $484.34 for Mark Foster Kemper. Um, it entailed about 13 and a half hours of work that he did when Gary was not available. I believe he filled in for Gary. Um, and I'll go through a couple of these. One for Vietta for fifty dollars, and those are both paid out of uh, one account. So if I can hear a motion to approve those two, I'll move to approve. Mr. Rollo, I want a second. How come he gets paid for something for somebody and I didn't? <laughs> 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 I got to get that in there. <laughs> Is that the first 
first one we've gotten, like that's the first one I've seen. No, you get one of those every month. I think, Lowell, right now, you just approved voucher eight, and I believe I've been reimbursed on five. I shouldn't say I. June's received reimbursement on five of them. I think if there's two pending. That will be probably mailed out tomorrow. They slow down in the summertime when they get busy. That's the first one of them I've seen, so I figured that's where it was. Wasn't there some kind of an audit though in June that wasn't going to cut any checks or something? Did I dream that? Or did, did, did it's at the end of their fiscal year. That's their fiscal year. Yeah. So nothing happens for 30 days. Yeah. But I think we've received five of them today. And I was two out there. Yeah, I was thinking we had seen one last week. Uh, you should have seen seven of those prior to that. I still have the money's coming back in. Um, the next day I, I jotted myself down a note here was uh, uh, we had gotten a letter from uh, John Julian at Lumbach that it pertained to, I think everybody, did everybody get a copy of that? Uh, it pertained to their analysis of our finances and where we stood. The question has been raised as to whether or not we should pay back some of uh, the loan money that we've that we've taken and we're holding our account right now. Um, his advice was basically that we not do anything for the time being. Um, uh, they would not recommend us doing anything until construction is substantially completed. Interest expense on the bands is a minimal cost to absorb in comparison to the benefit of knowing you have sufficient cash balances to make the pay project payments when they come in. Um, so, if everybody had seen that, it really doesn't require a motion. I just want to let everybody bring it up. Yeah, it pretty well says in that last sentence there, you know, the interest expense on the band is a minimal cost to absorb in comparison to the benefit of knowing you have sufficient cash balances. And, and I, I know we've, we've batted that around somewhat and paying it back early. And, um, if you notice, I remember John called and talked to me at length. He also called and talked to Gary and I together. And we went through and we revamped on that second page. And I think there was about a six or seven hundred thousand dollar reduction again on the cost estimate for where we were. You remember we started out about three and a half million and I think we're down to what million six about that yeah. We had a pretty good hit at the start and we had another pretty good hit when we went to it and got to get closer. So we hope to just keep beating it down. Yeah. I know the the issue was our, our banker he he's keeping a fine close eye on our I know. That's right. Yeah. And he was we need that and that's yeah. fine. <laughs> <laughs> It keeps us on a straight and narrow, and that's good. So I appreciate the letter from John and the analysis on that, too. Um, there's a letter, and I think we may have talked about this before, um, just a, a basically a formality. Um, uh, I'll read it. Um, Dear Decatur County Auditor, uh, County Council, and overlapping tax units in accordance with IC 36-7-14-39, B3B, um, the Redevelopment Commission is hereby notifying you that the following determination has been made concerning its tax allocation areas for 2010 payable, 2010 tax payable, 2011. The commission has determined that there is no excess assessed value that may be allocated to the overlapping tax units in the manner prescribed in Subdivision 1 of the Act. And that's basically, as my understanding is, that we're basically just going on record telling the other taxing units that there is no surplus of money in our TIF accounts to be redistributed to any of the other taxing units. Do you have to do that anyway? Yeah. So just, uh, I will sign that. Thank you.